Here we are. So uh, hello, everybody. This is uh, Google Summer of Code office hour for today, August 10th. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for, for joining. And so we have uh, today, we have Jack Ruti and we have Harsh uh, as uh, contributors. And we have Chris and Alyssa uh, on deck two for this uh, meeting. Thank you, every, everybody. So Adrian is just joining Ashutosh. Well, okay, I just, just said the people that were available and here they come, they're joining. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Ashutosh. Just checking sound with Ashutosh, do you hear me? Well, either it's still on mute or struggling with his cables over the place. We'll, we'll check. Uh, afterwards. So um, uh, let's do a short roundup um, with uh, where the project are standing. Uh, a double check I want to make. I know it's August here in Europe. Many people are taking holidays. Just want to be sure that holidays are correctly covered for everybody that nobody's alone sitting in the cold. Um, this basically what I want to sh discuss or share with you. I have no other news or information uh, uh, for you. I will leave time at the end if you have a topic you would like to, uh, to raise. So short roundup, uh, as usual, what happened last week, uh, what is uh, planned for the coming weeks, Maybe just highlight if you feel comfortable, if people in your project team are unavailable. Uh, and just tell me what's going on. Now, first one in a row on the top right on my screen is Jack Kruti. So Jack Kruti, tell us. Hello, everyone. So I just want to say that uh, coming two weeks will be really crucial for me. Because I, it is not just because I have to complete a uh, because Adrian has made it clear that he does not actually wants me to succeed in number of contributions and number of probes that I have completed, but uh, he wants me to be more efficient and autonomous of how I go about things, how I understand things on my own, much of research work I do. So I am from now on going to focus on that mostly. And also about doing my updates, I won't say that, okay, this probe I have launched or this is pending, but I have to do this. I would actually tell you like what I am learning and what mistakes I did and when I'm stuck. So speaking of that, the bug fixing probe that I was working on, uh, there were a few things that like, there were a few parameters I could work without, which I had used. So that was what agent pointed in the review. So I fixed that one. And the next probe, it was again, making an, implementing an abstract class which was a little different than what I had implemented. So I kind of messed that up. And then I read about it, it didn't explain me. So now I have also completed uh, that part. I've implemented it again and it is under again. So I hope these things will put in uh, around this week. And for next week, I already have, like I have a list of things to like probes lined up to complete. So I will work on the next task. If these two get completed, if these two works get completed this week, that's all from my side. Okay, good. Thank you for the the update, uh, Jack Kruti. So, quality instead of quantity, which is which really makes uh, sense because when you have quality, the quantity comes uh, automatically. Uh, don't hesitate to reinforce uh, some, I won't say work weak, the word weaknesses, but in the Java and object oriented uh, uh, sphere, I think some reading, it's, it's difficult, I know, but uh, I encourage you to, to read. The book I pointed out in Gitter is a book that helped me personally quite a lot. Quite yes, uh, yeah, I will read that, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Worthwhile to uh, to put some some work there. 
Great, Chakruti, I know you're putting a lot of effort in it. We're all behind you. We're all behind, believe that. Thank you. Thank you, Chakruti. If somebody wants to add something just for holidays, I think Adrian is going to leave for a couple of weeks. He Everything is organized. Is that correct yeah. for you? Yeah, Chakruti, correct. Or? correct. Yeah, yeah, I'll be off uh, starting uh, this Friday uh, officially for my company um, this Friday afternoon, my time zone. Um, however, this is completely, um, to me, that's open source and that's, uh, I, I'm lucky to have that uh, and all during my work day, but it's also something that I uh, watch outside of that. So I'll be monitoring. Uh, maybe not as closely as I'm now, but uh, I'll be mon monitoring everything that Jagoti is asking, uh, any question, any comments um, on the side. And I know that another mentor, Antoine, is coming back uh, next Wednesday on the Wednesday. 16th. Um, and Pierre, I think Pierre would be back in two weeks. So. Um, I, we, so yeah, there's plenty covered. of, there's a lot of people that will be, uh, here for you, Jagoti. So, uh, no worries about that. We are not abandoning you. Uh, and we make sure that, uh, you, you'll get, uh, all the help that you need. Okay. Great. Much appreciated, Adrian. You know, what I'm going to tell, tell you is be careful also for your health. Holidays are important. Have a nice cream on me. Yeah. And we'll check that, but yeah. much appreciated no, no, that you're involved. I, I have plenty of drinks for you. On your, on your back. Don't worry. Okay, good. Thank you for, for the updates. Next one in a row is, is Harsh. Tell us what has been uh, happening, what you plan to do, and if the holiday period, I think, uh, well, Chris is uh, watching your back. Uh, to and I don't know when he takes holidays, so I don't know. It's always there. Harsh, go ahead. I'll stop talking. Yeah, so we were in, in this week mostly we were testing the milestone two and we found some bugs, like some really deep bugs of auto merging stuff. And we were fixing it like I messed it up because I did a mistake of type. Like I I had to use capital B for Boolean and I used small b, and that's why this thing was not working the way it should be. And Mark tested it. So shout out for Mark, like he tested it really, really well. And the testing is going on other than this, like because the milestone two is the core of the migration. Once it gets merged, other pull requests are almost very easy to get merged. Like they're not much of a problem. So like, yeah, it's just going well. Once the tests are complete, I think we should be good to go. The Like I, I, have, I, I have added the milestone four and milestone five also. So it's just um, merging that has to be done. So I'm hoping that this week, lot, uh, like our testing for the milestone two will be completed. And then in the next proceeding weeks, we will be able to merge all the pull requests. It's still a lot of testing required. So what is the current testing goal and how much has been already tested? Actually, this uh, this plugin, because we, we need to test it a lot because like I've almost rewired a lot of things in it. And uh, the problem is, the like I've created some 10 or 11 pointers for testing and we also need to test the permutations and combinations of those so that we know that things are working as 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 we want it to be and another thing is if I make a slight change in the plugins code base then we have to test everything all over again. everything because again. of course yeah we, we, we are going to deploy it in production and if someone finds out that there's something bloody wrong with it then it, it, they won't listen right so yeah a lot of testing has to be done here it takes time and I know, I know the answer, but it's interesting to explain to everybody. Uh, normally, tests should be automated. Is there a reason why you're doing it by hand currently? Yeah, like um, if like one the tests we were having for the like uh, for the plugin are very outdated, so we had to like improve them. I improved I improved a lot of the tests, but I think. 30, 30 or 40 were left, like 30 or 40 unit tests were left. Other than that, I think 100, 100 or something were already automated, but we are not really like focusing on that because the automated tests 
uh, only test the part of the unit, like the unit of the like the plugin. It, they're not testing it completely and interactively. And right. the tests that are integration tests and end-to-end -end tests that are there in the plugin, they're extremely outdated. Like they're pretty much, I think they're based on GitLab 8. And to get it working, it's it's quite difficult. It was a stretch goal. I don't know if I'll be able to achieve it or not, but it was a stretch goal. So we are, uh, like Mark suggested that we do interactive testing much more. And in the case of proxy settings also, we cannot test it uh, like uh, through unit tests. Even when I tried like using test containers and all, but I think it will be much more of an effort to actually set up automated integration tests for proxies and all. So we are do doing all the tests manually. But you're just not lecturing, but uh, here pointing out what what it's uh, the, the case. Having automated tests would make the life easier, but it's a big investment. But let us not forget this part. It's like not doing uh, the dishes and letting them in the sink. After a while, it's it's goes over and and you have nothing left to uh, to eat uh, in decently. So automating tests should be something that keeps nagging you uh, in in your mind. And it would be a very good addition if you continue. Uh, uh, contributing, especially as you have now the, the know, but I guess Chris is is also going to do the opportunities to work together. But the best tests are automated tests and that are maintained. Okay, very good. Uh, Chris, do you want to add something about yeah. our project? I just want to add like a, we may we may want to add some automated tasks later once we are sure what to test for because right now mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that we know we should test for but they're not tested yet automatically mm -hmm. so that's it, it, it made sense and and for me i don't know with who i discussed that but uh, uh the, the tactical decision that was made made really uh, sense i just yeah. want especially for the junior uh that i hear so uh Skipping tests is a recipe for disaster, and the best tests are automated. Yeah. So this is my I, I know I shouldn't do that, but just wanted yeah, to point that out as Go yeah, ahead. Another, another thing is that like for, for a testing we do, we normally have, need to have two servers, so one for Jenkins and one for GitLab. But uh -huh. for Git like if we do it locally, it takes it it's like it it's too slow for some reason. Uh -huh. So we have to resort to it. Like, it's, it's, it's part of the frustration actually because like we are, we are using the GitLab uh, image and I am using a MacBook and it's very slow. Like you'll have to like wait for thirty minutes for the container to start and it usually gives me five or five hundreds and five or twos and it takes a lot of effort to get the tests working. And I think thirty or forty of them are actually left and those tests that are left, some of the tests belong to Milestone too. And I was not uh, I tried to work on the test. I I gave I think two to three days on a single test actually because how hard it was. It was to test it because the GitLab project forced forced a architecture on the GitLab plugin, and now it is very difficult to test it. So yeah, that that's one of the reason. Like I slacked off the test and tried to make the code production code in the production work first. Because if the code in the production does not work, like what what are the tests for? But yeah, if once the code in production works and we have, I think one week or two weeks before like the the GSOC ends, then we can work extensively hard on the test part. Yeah. Okay, but what I like very much is that you're you you know you have a very good understanding, and uh, and a good teamwork. So there. Yeah. I so like, like that. The, uh, the only major bug we have is for auto merge, which is um uh, yeah the, the the only issue major issue the other issue we have is with logging because like for some reason we we see some logs but um the action is being completed normally but um it's like we get some errors for some reason. Yeah, that, that's okay, all. great. Uh, let's move to Hashutosh. Somehow he lands every time on the bottom of my list. I don't know how you managed to do that. So go ahead, Hashutosh. What is happening? Yes, so uh, uh, last uh, I had a, a couple of uh, tasks remaining for the previous week's milestone, for which I have. Uh, uh, open the PR so um, they are working on my end and other than that uh, 
I was uh, working on integrating end-to-end -end multi branch pipeline project uh, uh, through the uh, through the tutorials. For uh, uh, for uh, that is working on uh, my end for which I will be creating a PR soon. So other than that, uh, there are uh, I, uh, one uh, other task uh, which is uh, mostly documentation. So that uh, shouldn't. Uh, take too long um, and also and, uh, i i yes, think just giving you a hint in in case uh you're going to start now the discussion on how to integrate that now into the global jenkins documentation ecosystem and, and what is required yes. it needs to be industrialized yes yeah, so, uh, i I will be attending uh, tomorrow's Docs Office Hours Asia uh, uh, for that too. And other than that, I think the, uh, there was uh, one other uh, task uh, in the milestone of uh, uh, creating variable for uh, using the repository for the Docker Hub, uh, Docker Hub for which we are using yeah. uh, my repository right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a lot of will like to use Jenkins uh, official. A lot of things have been set up to just work and are working with your account. And this is part of the industrialization that this is then moved over to uh, the, the Jenkins uh, ecosystem. Okay, thank you very much. I think Bruno is uh, on holiday until Wednesday of next week. Yes, so but, but he's checking in. Uh, I okay. I don't feel like he's he's checking in regularly. Either. Right. Okay. Very very good. I'm still catching up with your project, so I have other things going on too. And and uh, but I see, I'm not doing the mentoring that that's uh, required. I just see that everything's going okay, and you're moving moving ahead. Great. Okay, so I see everything's going on. Seen some messages on Gitter popping up from Vendit, but uh, I think he's in between uh, exams. So let's. But um, uh, I will have a meeting with Vendit tomorrow to discuss like what to do to fix the current and Tor docs previous. Okay. Is that that Good. is. Good. Great. To 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 be in a shape that's ready for a presentation. Yeah. Uh, good. And you have a discussion with Mark too, because one of the concerns was that it would be a waste that we have a half finished. Uh, I know. System. Yeah. Like, um, I want to have another meeting on Saturday as well to talk with Mark, if in case he'll be there. Uh huh. Next week he will be away. Yeah. So anyway, but I see that all the projects have the hands on the steering wheel and know where to go. And even if people are away, uh, good. Okay, so I'm, I'm good, uh, good progress, hard work, sometimes bumps in the road, but uh, let's keep trucking as they say uh, there. Is there somebody who wants to raise a topic, ask a question, or has just a comment to do? Uh, like I had a question. Go ahead. When, when is the end term presentation? Because I can have my exam flashing. OK. Uh, this is something I'm going to discuss with uh, Alyssa, because she's a grandmaster of uh, Java online meetups and knows all the magic required to organize them. Currently, uh, it is planned mid-September, somewhere mid-September, which seeing your smile, Harsh, is in the middle of your exams. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Why do you guys always have exams? Why do teachers take always an want exams? Of economics and computer science. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, here we'll come with a, a couple of dates and see and try to find a compromise. 
the interim presentation is decoupled uh, from uh, the evaluation. So it is just wrapping up and finishing. Yeah, so the okay. uh, like interim evaluation is till September 5th, right? As far as uh, uh, I don't have the, the, I, the I have evaluation the is due, um, at least for the mentors, it's due end of August, but I believe that the for the GSOC contributors, it's just due prior to that, at least okay. a week prior. So, um, right. anticipate probably the second yeah. week of this month. So Go ahead, like, have a uh, look. Yeah. I, I, I had a very tight schedule, like because I Took a, I took some courses from my institute uh, from for other subjects also. So like I have a lot of exams. So in the mid mid of the September also I have exams and in like I am currently in my second year. So we have to do some summer projects also. So for the summer uh, summer projects also, I think I'll be busy till fifth of September in that thing also. That's why I'm I'm a bit low in the project right now. I'll get in the pace after. I think after four to five days, I'll get into the pace till 15th of August. I think I was a bit busy, but yeah, I, I want you guys to find a place from 5th September to 15th, I guess, because I think 15th will be my exam. So 10th, yeah. On, or after the September 10th? To 10th. After the 10th, I have examination. Like okay, because so my before, institute, what they, have, so... they did, uh, what they did okay. was because, because of the added subjects, like it's not yet known when when will those exams be so i'm just speculating because they told me it will be between this so right here harsh i'm going to contact you one on one by mail so that i'm sure because i have nothing to take notes uh here um just to check for the dates and uh, going around with the other uh with the other mentors uh and uh, uh See what happened. Did you ever see? Well, there probably was a wasp. I heard somebody yelling. <laughs> so I was here. I'm going to, uh, one on one, and we need uh, Alyssa and myself. We need to make work uh, on planning it, and we want everybody to feel comfortable because it's it will be a nice wrap up of uh, a long journey because we started that journey together several several months ago. So remember the picture of the big mountain. <laughs> I want to do it live because like, uh, I'm just bored of recording stuff and I don't want the interim presentation to be a recording, but I have a lot of exams for God's sake. I'm giving quizzes every four to five days. Hmm. Oof, okay, good. We'll check that with, uh, with Alisa. Are there other questions, comments? Um, yeah, I do have some comments because I guess for for the booting uh, Jenkins.io project, we may need to uh, extend it because we want more features to be completed. Uh, I'm not sure I understood that correctly. Can you can you rephrase that or say that again? Yeah, because like for for the booting Jenkins.io project, um, okay, we need more time. So it's like um. Okay. That that, that uh, so the the issue is um the presentation for that project might need to be like delayed a a bit. more more time or so. Okay, then uh, well, there is something for you and I that we dig into the GSOC uh, rules and see how we can make that so to have extra time. Yeah, but for the presentation, oh well, like I, uh, and we may have to like do it later. Yeah. Chris, you're making my life horrible because I understand your problem. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, Don't I just, worry. We, we just need more time. It's like I, I, I planned that I had already, so it's like it's expected. Because I did, yeah. uh, we did talk with Mark, uh, we did talk with Richard and uh, Yiming, and they, they all said it's okay. Yeah, and would uh, would doing the the online presentation end September something acceptable? I think so. Yeah, it should be completed by end of September. I think maybe just one month extension at most. I'm thinking or hoping. Yeah. Okay. Harsh, will you be in the middle of exams or quizzes or so? Because you're scaring me with all your exams. No, and September. Like, I think if 
if it's in the end of September, I should not have examinations. I'll I'll recheck, but I don't think so. I should be having any examinations. Okay, sounds sounds good. Ashutosh, how would it look for for you on your side in September for doing uh, the presentation? I don't have exams in September, uh, so it will be fine for me. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, Jakruti, is it okay for you in September? And September is fine. I don't Okay. Well, you don't have exams anymore, but who knows? Might have other obligations. Yes, yes. If something comes up, I will let you know. Okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So this is work for Lisa and me. Yeah. Uh, and we'll work. We'll work on that. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we're not there yet, but the end or one end is approaching and uh, continue like that. So, uh, well, no, it was not good to say that way because some projects need a little bit more time to complete. But anyway, you got the, the message. As somebody I know says, go, go, go. Let's finish this. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you for joining and thank you for all the good news. And for those that go on holiday, enjoy your holiday and try to hook up. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. bye, -bye. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye.